Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash, just as a whole, I guess. So, as we come to the end of 2023, like, when you look back on it at the very least, one thing that was a, like, it was a big thing for, like, the year as a whole was a big thing for, or might I say a character that 2023 was big for, was of course that of The Flash. Now, of course, we had the TV show come to an end after nine seasons and almost 200 episodes, then it ended on like 180 something or something like that. And then we, of course, had the movie come out after almost like, what, a decade or so of development and production issues and everything like that. But, you know, it came out eventually. It eventually saw the light of day. Now, in regards to what happens next in the live action space when it comes to The Flash, whether it is on TV or in the film side of things, that is a wait and see. We don't really have anything major at the moment, at the very least, though we will address some of that in this video uh, later on because there has been, I guess, some minor, I guess you could say, quote unquote, updates. But the thing that sort of like starts this video off in regards to at least discussing things is actually something that Grant Gustin said recently when asked a question at a recent panel that was held for him at a convention. And this wasn't the first time he had been asked this question. I think this was not last week. Oh, no, I think it was. If it wasn't last weekend, it was the weekend before. But at the very least, it wasn't the first time he'd been asked this, but it was the first time he'd been asked after the Flash movie actually came out and hit theatres, and we got to see what was actually within it and everything like that. And that was the, I guess, simple question of, were you ever asked or approached about appearing in the movie in any form, such as a cameo? And this is what Grant had to say. Never. At least no one officially ever called me, as far as I know. My reps never told me if they did. So, yeah, no one ever reached out to me about the movie. Now, of course, I did say that this is like the second time that Grant's essentially said the same thing after being asked essentially the same question. And this has made the rounds again. And you might be wondering, well, why? And I think it's just because the movie actually came out because the first time he said it, he was like, oh, was he containing stuff? Everyone was like comparing it to the Andrew Garfield situation. And the thing is, is that it had, around the time when he sort of acknowledged that question for the first time and answered and said, ah, oh, like I haven't been approached. There was stuff supporting the fact he wasn't going to be in it. Like a lot of people that would normally know were saying, hey, it doesn't seem like he actually filmed anything. And then CinemaCon had rolled around and they'd showed the cameo stages in that film and nothing had really happened. So, you know, I think it's one of those things where people are just still very annoyed about it. I just think it was silly that he wasn't in the movie, but at the same time, I don't really care a ridiculous amount at the same time. It's one of those weird things where I wish he was in it, but at the same time, I don't really care now. Like, well, like, what are we, like, almost six months, almost after the movie came out, or however long it's been? Like, I'm at the point where I don't really care. You know, the movie is what it is, that sequence is what it is. Though I feel a cameo with him wouldn't have been that great. I think it should just been at some sort of portion in that movie. I think it would have made sense. But, you know, people are, you know, still... Uh, a bit annoyed about it, which I can completely understand. But for me, I don't really care too much at the same time. But one of the big things that people are wondering is like the fact that he was never contacted at all. Like a lot of people feel like that was just really disrespectful because now we can look at it and go, oh, he's actually saying like after the fact that nothing was ever offered his way and there's no like excuse like, oh no, I couldn't just do it because I was filming. Because I think if that was the case and he couldn't have done it because he was filming, like the show, the final, you know, end of season nine, he just would have said that then. So I think that more raises the question why there was never anything there. There have been some rumors around that like, um, I think it, would, it might have been more like the executive level said like, no, we don't want, you know, these inter like these two different versions of the Flash interacting and everything like that, which I guess maybe makes more sense. I don't think you could have done that big cameo sequence and had those, like, I guess like other versions of those other, like, those different Superman and Batman and stuff like that. And like the director, like Andy Muschietti, and not wanted to put him in there. So it feels like it was an e executive decision. But once again, he was never contacted anyway. So it's not like he, unless maybe he was contacted and he filmed something and it never appeared because executive said no. But I feel like that's what it was. I, and that might be me, like that might be me giving like the benefit of the doubt to the filmmakers and stuff like that. But I just feel like that's what it was. At least that's how I feel. But as I was saying before we like sort of read that quote out from Grant, we don't really have like a ridiculous amount of updates or news or suggestions as to where Flash and live action is going, whether it is in TV or film, after the TV and film appearances this year, which aren't going to happen again. Like, obviously the TV show's ended, and I think it's pretty obvious that Ezra Miller's not continuing as the Flash, so there's going to be a different Flash at the very least, regardless whether it is on TV or film going forward. Now, the one thing that 
had been reported and it has sort of been backed up that, you know, people have heard this and stuff and it hasn't sort of been squashed, is this, you know, apparent rogue series that will be coming in James Gunn's DCU that will cause focus around the rogues, but there could be like a, maybe like an uncast appearance of the flash if that makes sense so the flash could be in it but the flash doesn't stop you don't see his face everything like that so don't have to have an actor it's just pretty much cgi maybe like a back shot of something of someone in a flash suit or whatever it is now this rumor has gone on different things and james gunn hasn't shot this down and one of the big things that sort of people are doing to connect the dots with what is potentially real and what isn't is whether james gunn shoots it down or he just doesn't address it because he's shooting down like some of the ridiculous stuff And the stuff that maybe he just goes, no, I don't want people getting too excited for this. And, you know, maybe it's a different casting or whatever, like someone to play Batman or someone to play Supergirl or something. He's like, no, that's not the case. We're not doing this. But he hasn't shot down this like rogue series that's been popping in and out. Now, he might not have seen it, but it's been, you know, in and out of like the the rumor circles, if you want to put it, for like approaching half a year now. And he hasn't really acknowledged it at all. So it seems like it might have some legitimacy to it. And he just doesn't want to shoot it down now because it, you know, it's actually something that's legit, but he hasn't officially announced it yet because that would be in like the next stage of announcements, whenever that is for his DCU, which could be as, you know, he might hold off until Comic-Con next year to do that. And it would sort of make sense if he did that. Now, this is something that sounds cool to me because you can build the world of the flash if you want to put it, but also just central city and spend more time with these rogue characters that you can potentially do other things with as well. So I think it's a cool idea. But outside of that, there's been no word on the Flash as a character himself, um, whether it is through the rumor side or even through James Gunn. Like he's not hinted at anything in regards to the character, whether it's a team up or a Justice League thing. It's mainly been like your Supermans, your Batmans, your Supergirls, your Green Lands, and even like Wonder Woman's had a bit of a reference there, but nothing with The Flash. And that's obviously just because The Flash just came out as a film. It's like how James Gunn hasn't referenced what they're doing with Aquaman going forward, because Aquaman has a movie coming out in a couple of weeks. So it's very, very recent. So this just could be a situation where we are waiting until maybe next year at Comic-Con, and that's where James Gunn really does flesh out you know, what's, you know, more specific updates with the projects that have already been announced that have characters like Batman and Superman and Supergirl and Green Lantern and stuff like that. But then projects involving characters like The Flash and Aquaman that have had projects come out this year or still to come out in the next couple of weeks, that's when it's addressed, like what they're doing with those characters, whether it is a project of their own or something that they might show up in. Uh, though Aquaman feels like it might be something that they just have a bit of a time off thing with. Like the Flash is one they might, I don't want to say speed into, but you know what I mean? Like the Flash might be a more prevalent thing on James Gunn's mind compared to Aquaman, but I'm not too sure. Because as I said, and I've said in a couple of different videos, I'm not too sure how much he likes the character. He's really never mentioned the character outside of the movie that was coming out. And so I don't know how much of a fan he is. So that's the thing I'm sort of like questioning in regards to his plans and how big of a deal the character is going to be going forward in his universe. Now in regards to what I can see, like I think the Flash, when introduced to James Gunn's DCU, should start lower off, like on a lower level, like no big ridiculous multiverse stuff or anything like that. Just have it be a guy who is fast, who can run fast, stop in crime in Central City, just seems simple. And because the Flash movie that we got never really tied, I guess, reverse Flash and his mother's death into all of it, you can use that, but still on like a smaller, more personal scale. Now, of course, I am saying this all under the assumption that, you know, Barry Allen is used again. So you can actually have Wally West developers himself, then Kid Flash, then build up towards 10 years from now, later on, taking on the mantle of the Flash which is what I would want to see. So you start with Barry and then move on to Wally later on. However, James Gunn could just use Wally and it's something I could see him doing, but then it's also accelerating through this universe and the story there when he could, you know, actually let it play out properly if you want to put it, but I could be completely wrong there and what he might want to do. Now, like one thing that I'm, I don't don't want to say ridiculously confident in, but one thing I'm pretty confident in is that I'm not expecting to see any Flash character show up or at least like the Flash, like the main Flash, show up in like any of the previously announced projects in Guns DCU. So like Superman Legacy, the Batman movie, uh, Supergirl, anything like that. I think it would be in projects he has yet to announce that you would expect like any hope of the DCU Flash showing up, whether it is actually a a Flash project or the Rogues uh, or something else along the line down, you know, whenever that is. So yeah, I don't expect that to happen. Like everyone's expecting like all these different characters to show up in, you know, these 
different projects that are, you know, going to start filming, you know, next year and into early 2025 and stuff. But as a character like The Flash, I see them just, you know, having a break from. And the thing is, is that like, though we're about to leave the DCEU and head into the DCU, it's still like a while, like Superman Legacy is still like 18 months away. And then some of those other projects, like some of the other movies, like the second or third movie could be like a year after Superman Legacy. So there's still ages away until we start like getting consistent movies out. And some of these characters that like The Flash or whoever it might be actually start appearing. So it's still a while from now, um, So it's, which is pretty crazy to think. But hopefully that rogue show that's been rumored and seems like it has some sort of legitimacy to it, uh, you know, I guess ha- gives us that the Flash crumbs, if you want to put it to at least keep us sane. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything we went over. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.